Back now, 843, uh, with Melanie Linsky, one of the stars of the hit show Yellow Jackets, part survival, part horror story. It follows a group of high school girls who are forced to fend for themselves after their plane crashed in the wilderness. And 25 years later, Melanie's character, Sean, is on a mission to reclaim her life and keep her darkest secrets safe. Take a look. Why did you kill Adam Martin? What? I, I didn't. Didn't what? I didn't murder Adam, whoever. I, I didn't murder anyone. I never said he was murdered. Oh, oh, girl. Oh, oh. people have been waiting. <laughs> there was a real cliffhanger at the end of season one, and people are, are eager to know what's going to happen in season two. Yes. How do you think they're going to feel about how things unfold? I think people are going to be happy. Yeah. It's, it's pretty crazy. The first script, I was like, this is great. This is a great return. And then episode two just goes. Boom. It's just wild. Yeah. Well, you are really hitting a stride in this moment in your life. Yes. You, I, I feel like you have you, you sort of found your voice. You found these great roles. How do you feel at this point right now, at this moment? I feel honestly very emotional. Mm. I just like sitting here talking to you. I, you know, I'm 45 years old. I haven't had moments like this. And it's, it's very new to me. I'm grateful that it's happening at this point in my life and that it didn't happen when I was 22. Yeah. Trying to figure things out. Um, but it's hard. I've been under the radar for a long time, and I, I think I was comfortable there. You know? Isn't that funny? You're com yeah. It's comfortable because when people think of actors, they think of people who want to be seen. A lot of people might remember you from that scene from Sweet Home Alabama that, yeah. that was iconic, and people never forget it. It, oh. was the, it was the line about, I don't know if we have the, the sound for it, but I think this was it. Oh, oh, let's oh play my it. God! Yeah. Look at you! Oh, fancy! You look like you just stepped out of a magazine. <laughs> oh well, thank you. Um, look at you! You have a baby in a bar. This is so, this is so, so weird. Great. But when, when I see that, and I think about you wanting to fly under the radar, and you said this. You said, "I'm a shy person. I'm not a person with a big resonant voice or a big presence." Don't you think that's kind of interesting in this line of work? It is. I mean, some actors are truly, <clears throat> sorry, introverts. Yeah. I think for me, it's easier for me to get into someone else's skin and I feel a freedom that way. I feel mm -hmm. a freedom when I have lines to say and a costume on and, and something to do where I don't have to be so acutely self-conscious. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the roles that you're taking on now, and I also, what I love about what's happening in your life now is you actually have a voice and you're using it. I Thank think you. I think often we sit back and let things roll off, but there are things in Hollywood that 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 come up from time to time, and body shaming is among them. Mm -hmm. And you are like, I don't think so. I'm going to clap back on that. Tell me about that. I just sort of feel like it's the year 2023. Are we not in a in a place where we can accept that people have different kinds of bodies? Yeah. Really, like there's still a lot of people with like. <clears throat> slender, wonderful bodies around on television. Just yeah. let there be a couple of women who represent the vast majority of women in the world. I yeah. just don't really <laughs> understand what the issue is. Yeah. And I'm just over it. It's exhausting. It is exhausting. Yeah. How do you think you have survived in Hollywood all these years with all of that kind of pressure? I'm sure you've heard it. We've all heard it if, you, if you're in any of these kind of industries. Yes. I... You know, I've I've tried to be kind to myself. Um, I'm very lucky to be in a great relationship with somebody who just loves me unconditionally and makes me feel beautiful, you know, in sweatpants, literally. Um, I, I don't know. I think I think just practicing self love and and acceptance. Mm -hmm. Also, the responses I have gotten from women are the thing that have really kept me going. Like women, what, what just women of? feeling seen and feeling validated and saying, I feel like I've seen myself on television. I feel represented suddenly. And to me, that's that's the bigger picture. That's bigger than me feeling scared to speak out because there might be repercussions, you know. Boy, I like you. You're Thank so you, cool. Thank you, I like you. <laughs> You've got such a beautiful, wonderful voice. Aww. Yellow Jackets is a great show. I Thank mean, it's you. caught fire. Why do you think everyone's kind of leaning into it? It's such a good mystery. Yeah, yeah. It's, you know, when I get in, I, I read a script on the floor of my closet. I honestly, like, when as soon as I get it, I'm just like, let me read this. I, I love it so much. 
And I think it's also nice for people to see a group of women in their mid-40s who are just kind of real women going through some traumatic times. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah. thank you so much for sitting here with us. I'm so thank glad I got you. to speak to you. I hope everybody checks out season two of Yellow Jackets. It premieres Friday, March 24th on Showtime. Thank you. Thank you so much. Such an honor. That was great. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.